Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the crystals experiment set from Mel Chemistry, you'll discover that something that looks like ice may actually be hot. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to keep the table clean and contain any spills. Make sure to put on gloves and protective glasses before you start. To open a bottle with a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. For the hot ice experiment, you'll need sodium acetate, three candles, a thermochrome sticker, a splint, tweezers, and a plastic test tube. From the starter kit, take a disposable cup, a beaker, a solid fuel stove, and a flame diffuser. Also, prepare a paper towel, matches, or a lighter, and a kettle of boiling water. Place the stove onto the tray and set three candles in it. Make sure you remove your protective gloves before lighting the candles. Light the candles and cover the stove with a flame diffuser. Pour approximately 125 milliliters of boiling water into the beaker and put it onto the flame diffuser. Carefully put the bottle with sodium acetate into boiling water and wait 20 minutes. During this time, all the sodium acetate should dissolve and form a solution. In a crystal, sodium acetate is bound with three molecules of water. When the crystals are heated, they release the water, which in turn dissolves the solid acetate. Put on the gloves. Using the tweezers, take the bottle out of hot water. Carefully extinguish the candles and move the stove away from your working zone. Attach a square thermochrome sticker onto the test tube and place it into the disposable cup. Carefully pour all the sodium acetate from the bottle into the test tube. Dip the tip of the splint into the solution in the test tube. Lightly pat the tip with a paper towel and put it aside. Wet the rubber stopper with water and close the test tube. Wait 15 minutes. Now, open the test tube and touch the solution with the tip of the splint. Since the test tube has cooled down, the sodium acetate will almost instantly crystallize forming needles that look like snowflakes. You will notice this process produces enough heat to change the color of the thermo sticker. Sodium acetate can be a little unpredictable, sometimes it doesn't crystallize the way it should. If your sodium acetate didn't crystallize as you expected, please refer to the frequently asked questions on the corresponding experiment page on the Mel Science website. Please visit the Mel Science website to learn more about this experiment.